earlier in the program, we heard about the life of Darlene Maroff. She was the first first lady in Waverly, and she turned 100 this past weekend. And they had quite the party for her. Yeah, well, throughout the century, she's become quite the hostess, and she has more thanks to give her family and friends. In this segment, Darlene speaks with Grace McDonald in her living room. Hi, I'm Grace McDonald with Pure Nebraska, and today I'm in Waverly with Darlene, who has a very special event coming up. January 21st. God has given me the privilege of living to 100 years old. Very pleased and humbled to be able to celebrate 100 years. What do you like to fill your days with, Darlene? Visiting with people and uh, cooking, entertaining, and going wherever I want to go. And you've been a part of a lot of people's lives throughout the decades in the past century. I have been privileged to be in a lot of different situations where I have met and people that have become lifelong friends to me. And you've even been a part of my family too. You've yes, I have. gotten to know my Nana and my Papa who live in town. This street is one of the friendliest streets in the world. And we get together every month for a coffee and conversation. It's great. How important is the community of Waverly to you? Well, it's my whole life. I was born in here, the vicinity and went to school here and came back and we farmed and then we lived here. And if you could run through a list of historical events that you remember really well, I know, I know you have a great memory but what historical events stick out to you within this past century? Oh, I remember a lot of presidential elections. I rem remember the moon landing. I remember the Battle of, of Iwo Jima and of the end of World War II. I especially am thrilled that I got to see the dignitaries that were responsible for the United Nations uh, Convention. What is the secret to a long, happy life? Well, I jokingly say I haven't stopped breathing yet. I've had a good, wholesome life and been privileged to be treated well, and I made it. I hope you continue to do well and enjoy your job and become president of the world someday. <laughs> president of the world. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> well, you are the first first lady of Waverly, so I've got <laughs> connections. Well, thank you so much for inviting me to your home and letting me talk to you for Pure Nebraska. Well, that's no problem at all. I'm very happy to do it. What a lady there. Yeah, and the bar's high there for Grace now to be president of the world. I know. Yeah. A lot to live up to. <laughs>